This is your 3-minute radiation fallout forecast for Monday, May 14, 2012, in Canada. The majority of the jet stream continues to flow over the Canadian provinces. Water vapor loops coincide with the southernmost provinces of Ontario and Quebec along the St. Lawrence Seaway. Radar imagery from Environment Canada shows very little in the way of precipitation for all of Canada at the present time. Canadians should get out and enjoy the weather while they can and send us images of mutations that you may come across in fast-growing plants and weeds. In the U.S. Radar imagery from IntelliCast shows a different story for the U.S. Although there is abundant sunshine and clear skies happening in the center of the country, Texans and East Coasters are having some moderate rain. Texans should exercise caution with precipitation, but some weekend spikes along the coast, along with heavy water vapor bands moving through for the next 36 hours, make fallout a high concern for this area of the country. This watch extends all the way north to Maine and south to Florida. In Europe, radar imagery from Meteo France shows heavy rain bands moving southeast over Great Britain and into the northern coastal areas of France, Belgium, the Netherlands, and Germany. This pattern will continue through Wednesday and may take a more easterly direction towards Poland. The releases from the methane well in the North Sea will blow towards Scandinavia. Recent detections along the east coast of the U.S. in the past four days cause a concern for making landfall in Europe. All precipitation should be avoided as a precaution. Check Yerdap for recent fallout readings, a link which can be found at FukushimaFacts.com. Nuke Report at St. Lucie, Florida, a manual reactor trip due to a feedwater control valve failure occurred on May 11th but didn't post until today. Unit 2's reactor is currently in hot standby. At Honeywell International, a uranium processing facility in Metropolis, Illinois, there was another worker injured whose work boots had a high level of contamination. This is the third incident in a week at this facility. If you have a safety concern about a nuke plant near you, please contact the NRC hotline at 800-695-7403. And while you have them on the phone, make sure to mention how we are all aware that they covered up the extent of the Fukushima disaster by deliberately hiding data to protect their precious nuke industry. For details on this, search FOIA documents, reveal NRC cover-up, on the internet. Keep track of current nuke events by listening to Nuked Radio on Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon to 1 Eastern Standard Time. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government and the NRC doesn't. Stay safe.